What up, channel? It's 4Play, and this is the FFA breakdown number two. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Uh, this one is Sea Town, and the gun is an MP7. I'm running Specialist. You're going to see right off the break, I'm going to look down these steps, just because everyone always runs up these steps. This guy was tying his shoe or something. I don't know why he was so late on the reaction time, but definitely a novice new player. This situation you'll see here, I, whenever I go back and look at these gameplays, I'll notice my mistakes, and that one... I just let that guy get away from me, and obviously he's going to run inside the building. When I was watching in theater, I was like, wow, why didn't I see him run to my left? But sometimes when you're playing, I don't think that you realize the little things, and you miss some like some simple stuff like that. With this gameplay, I did upload it because I made some mistakes, but also I held some hotspots down. I'm not going to tell you what I did and how good I did at the end of it, but I will say, like the last video, there is a treat <laughs> at the end, but... Um, when you're playing FFAs, you need to realize that you need to be aware of the spawns. There's like maybe five spawns that I'm always sure of, and on each map I'll know where they're at. And you have to choose what situations that you want to engage in a gunfight. You'll notice right here, there's going to be somebody in top red building a restaurant, like almost all the time there is. I'm going to get stunned instead of running in that building trying to guess if he's on the second floor still or trying to find him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run away, and I'm going to put myself in situations that I want to engage in and that I'm comfortable in. I'm going to see this guy, put kind of sloppy shots in him, run up, get a knife, and obviously the guy that I stunned is there too, so I'm going to knife him. Right here, I need to be more aware of this guy coming down the steps. I should have remembered that there was a guy in red, and instead of fighting him, I'm just going to leave him be. This is something a lot of people don't do, and I see people make the mistakes on going back to try to fight him. I'm just going to leave him be and let him do his game, and I'm going to play mine. When you're playing FFA, you don't need to play into anyone. Just do what you want to do and play the game st like game type that you want to play. A lot of the times when I'm playing FFA, you're going to see me kind of, not I don't want to say camping, but map manipulation, where I'll control like a hot spot for a little bit. And this hot spot happens to be the well, because those arches right there are key spawn. The well is a key spawn, and so is the castle road, which you'll see me look at right there in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. As you see, that guy did spawn Castle Road. He ran straight up the stairs. <clears throat> and a lot of the times, if you are going to play the well like that, and you're manipulating the map, there's another arch spawn. But if you're going to play like the well like this, what you need to do is be aware of what the spawn points are going to be. It's no different than in Fallen. In Fallen, remember I told you how to show down, or like I showed you how to hold down that map from the top of that building. This is the same situation. A lot of people like to move a little bit more when they're playing FFAs. And if I'm playing competition that I feel I need to move and I need to get these kills right away, then I will be moving all over the map just the same because you stop caring about your kill death as much and you start caring about winning the FFA, which that is overall the goal. But when I'm playing people that are lesser skilled, which no disrespect to anybody that was in this lobby, but obviously they were lesser skilled, um, I'll control hotspots because I just like to get Moabs or like if, if ever I'm playing FFAs, lately I've been using nothing but a sniper. This was actually my first game of the day, and I didn't have a chance to switch my class. But uh, most of the time, I'll use a sniper just to challenge myself to see if I can win. Which, the next two episodes, I probably will use a sniper just because I love sniping, and you guys can see how I snipe and stuff. And uh, I want you guys to just basically see and get a feel for how I play FFAs, and hopefully with everything, this just gets you better. That's what the goal of my channel is, to just try to show people how I play, and try to help people pick up on what I'm trying to do. So... As always, you're going to see me rotating around the map a little bit, and I'm just going to keep moving in the same general direction. This guy in library almost gets away from me, but I'm going to end up killing him. Thank God he didn't knife me like they always do. And here, I'm kind of unsure myself, so I don't know if I messed up the spawn. I don't know if there's a guy in well waiting for me, so I kind of post up for a little bit, which is okay to do, and I'm going to go take over the well again. Also, if, if you are in a cold zone, which like if nobody runs in your area for a little bit, don't worry about it as much. Like, don't worry about uh, like the traffic in your area unless you're losing. If you're losing, then you got to get out of that cold zone just because you got to go try to find people. But as soon as you leave a zone, remember, it's going to open up a spawn. Right now, I'm spawn blocking the well, so nobody's going to spawn there. I did see, however, a guy spawning my arches, and that shows you how FFA spawns spawn you so close to each other. Like, if I'm in the well, they can spawn in the arches directly right next to me, which is kind of outrageous, but... The map is only so big, and for there being so many players, it's kind of what you have to do. I'm going to knife this guy. He's going to drop a grenade. For some reason, it doesn't show it in the theater mode. Uh, and right here, I think there's like a minute and a half left in the game, and I'm getting closer and closer to my Moab. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push here and I'm going to wait because I'm not really sure where they're coming from and what spawns I, I opened up and what I didn't. And then I'm going to push up. I'm going to see somebody in bottom red and I'm going to try to pick him off, which is like it is my first game of the day. So it's sloppy shots, but that doesn't matter because I'm yet again like one kill closer to my Moab, which I, I really do think I'm a couple kills away, maybe one or two. And in this situation, whenever I get really close to a Moab, like everybody, I'm going to play so much more passive and it kind of is considered camping, yeah, but it's also just holding down the same hot zone that I've been holding the whole time. And right here, I need to be aware that there will be a guy at Castle Road. And obviously, like I did, ran over to Castle Road and there wasn't anybody. So that means he chose to go up the road, which I'm trying to look there too and see if he maybe committed towards the middle of the map, which he didn't. And then now I'm going to go back towards the arches or the library. So there is going to be somebody in the arches, and he committed towards uh, this little building right here. And I'm going to end up taking him out, get the Moab. I always find it funny, whenever you get Moabs, people try to kill themselves, people quit. In this situation, I still think I get like four kills with it. Uh, but you'll notice somebody's going to leave the game right there, and then someone's going to nade themselves. So two people leave the game, someone nades themselves, and I'm still going to get four kills off the Moab. And then it's funny, because right here, I was like, alright, I'm at 29, let's just go for a flawless gameplay. And I, I literally could not find anybody. So I think they all spawn on the castle side of the map, and I blocked all the spawns over here because there just wasn't one person. I'm going to see a guy across the map, pick him off easy with an MP7, call it a day. Either way, this is foreplay of Team Envious and the Eagle Killer Nation. I hope this is helping. This is the FFA breakdown number two. All right, peace.